we now have sufficient knowledge of junction field effect transistors and in this lecture we will solve two numerical problems based on jfet this lecture is the part 1 of jfet solved problems and the next lecture will be part 2 of jfet solved problems and once we are done with these two lectures we will study mosfet we will start metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor this topic is very important topic and now we will move to the problem number 1 in the problem number 1 the device parameters for n channel jfet are maximum drain current idss is equal to 10 milliamps pinch off voltage vp is equal to minus 4 volts and for this parameters we have to calculate the drain current the drain current is the output current and there are three cases in case a voltage vgs is equal to 0 volt vgs is gate to source voltage or the control voltage vgs is the control voltage in case b vgs is equal to minus 1 volt in case c vgs is equal to minus 4 volt minus 4 volt is also the pinch off voltage so vgs in case c is equal to the pinch off voltage now we already know the relation between vgs and the drain current id the drain current id is equal to i dss inside the bracket 1 minus vgs by vp whole square now we will first solve the case a the first case in which vgs is equal to 0 volt we can use this formula to find out the drain current id but we will use the property of jfet we already know when vgs is equal to 0 volt and vds is greater than the magnitude of pinch off voltage the drain current the drain current id is equal to id ss the maximum drain current so for case a for case a the answer is equal to 10 milliamps because idss is equal to 10 milliamps you can see and the drain current in this case is equal to idss which is equal to 10 milliamps now we will solve case b in case b vgs is equal to minus 1 volt and now we will use this formula id is equal to 10 milliamps idss inside the bracket 1 minus vgs is equal to minus 1 minus 1 and vp is equal to minus 4 so minus 1 by minus 4 is equal to 0.25 so here we have 0.25 whole square when you solve this you will have the drain current id equal to 5.625 milliamps this is the answer of the b case now we will solve the case c case c is an important case because you can see vgs is equal to vp and when this happens we already know the drain current is equal to 0 amp we have already discussed this case in the jfet lectures so this is all for the problem number 1 the drain current in c part is equal to 0 amp now we will move to problem number 2 in the second problem we have to calculate the resistance a jfet produces gate current of 2 nanoamps the gate current this means ig is equal to 2 nanoamps and ideally the gate current ig is equal to 0 amps but in this case it is equal to 2 nanoamps when gate is reverse biased with 8 volts so vgs is equal to 8 volts and we have to determine the resistance between gate and source very simple we know the current gate current we know the gate to source voltage this means we know we know the potential difference across gate 
and source and uh, we also know the current which is ig and using the ohm's law we can easily calculate the resistance rgs from ohm's law vgs is equal to ig multiplied with rgs or we can write resistance rgs is equal to vgs divided by current ig vgs is equal to 8 volt and ig is equal to 2 nanoamps when you solve this you will have 4 multiplied with 10 raised to power 9 ohms or we can write 4000 multiplied with 10 raised to power 6 ohms or 4000 mega ohms so this is the answer of the second question and this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section the two problems are very basic and uh, in the next lecture we will discuss few more problems related to junction field effect transistors